Hi, I'm Fabio Varesano and today I show you my last uh, improvements in my do-it-yourself breakout board process. Today I show you a breakout board for an ITG 3200 which is a digital gyroscope so it measures the rotations around the X, Y and Z axis. Well, maybe you remember my first experiment in building a homebrew do-it-yourself breakout board. The first time I used uh, an ADXL 345 accelerometer and well, while it worked, it was as you can see pretty ugly anyway it worked good it was uh, it was working and I was really satisfied by it this time as you can see I think I improved a lot and the improvements are different the first uh, big improvement has been that I I'm no more using backlight a backlight board like this because backlight is very good because it's really light but uh, it can't handle the heat the temperature we used in the solder pest reflowing process so as you can see it's all burned and really really ugly well instead I'm now now using FR4 board which is uh, really better because as you can see it, it doesn't show any temperature damage and well I designed this using KiCad you will find all the designs on the on my personal website and you're very welcome in recreate this by yourself as you can see I used a two-sided two-sided board we have a, a top layer where there are most of the tracks but I also have a bottom layer because because doing this without uh, with only uh, a layer would have been almost impossible and in this way it's also really smaller so there you go and well a key aspect is this this solder ball you can see here they are actually called vias they are the um, the component which connect one layer here the, the above layer with the bottom layer and uh, and there that's it so we can see how this ah I forgot to say that I this time instead of these through all capacitors you can see here I used really smaller and really better I think capacitors these are 0805 type capacitors package capacitors they are in different sizes and, and nothing I cook them uh, in the oven with the IC the, with the ITG free, free to oil and you can see here I have uh, as usual my Arduino 2009 some lines and um and I'm connecting these I'm connecting 
my breakout board to the Arduino I have to be careful to put it in the right place okay so the chip is uh, digital it communicates with the Arduino using the I2C protocol and here I have all the lines needed for this basically it's here you have two the two protocol lines which goes into the analog 4 and analog 5 uh, pins, Arduino pins and we have the, the ground and the voltage line I'm taking voltage from the 3 v 3 pin from the Arduino so because the chip needs um, 3 volt voltage so there you go I I created here a little program to show you what the reading from the the chip as you can see here okay let's see okay let me explain what it what it is as you can see here we have you can see the this these three bars on the left we have X Y Z axis we also have a temper temperature sensor on the chip so these are the readings coming from the the chip I found out that these readings are pretty inaccurate at least five degrees of error but I think it's it's still useful because um, the the precision of the chip variates with temperature so it it could be used to um, normalize the, the the read values so below you can see the the raw values read it from the chip and as usual x y z axis and below we can see the actual um, angular velocity read from the chip so we have uh, x velocity the, the velocity measured around the x axis the y uh, axis and the z axis so let's see how this works here you can see that remember we have the x axis here the y axis here and the z axis here so if I move it around the y axis there you go if I move it around the x axis there you go we have uh, the chip is reading our angular velocities so here it is and if I move on the Z axis there it is so when I move every axis around there are reading okay you can see that if I move on one side see if I see the X bar I get positive readings when I read from when I read from the opposite side I, re I get a negative volt I get a ne negative reading the chip is uh, working very good I'm really happy for it so that's it this is what uh, I've been able to create next days I'll do a better version of this one because it's uh, awful and I also I also bought some HMC5843 chips which are 
some uh, digital compass so I'll play a, a bit I'll try to create uh, some breakout board for them too and then the really cool thing will be combining everything and well you'll see for yourself thanks for watching and goodbye